Hey, 2023 can be the year of the Scorpio Riser. I'm the birthday coach, Jeremy Ryan, saying you were born for more. You deserve more love, happiness, and success. I hope you do that with the secrets of astrology. And the best thing you can do if you're a Scorpio Riser in 2023 is subscribe to this channel and ring the notification bell. And the second best thing you can do if you've already subscribed is to start leaving comments. All right, why is 2023 can be a great year? Why is it the year of the Phoenix? Well, because all about numerology. 2023 equals the number seven, the universal number seven in numerology. And for those that don't know, before I was a professional astrologer, I first started off as a master numerologist. Numerology is the sister science of astrology. They don't contradict, they complement one another. Numerology says that every number holds a vibration of the universe that has its own themes and messages. So your name is not an accident. The address where you live is not an accident. The numbers you see over and over again are is not an accident. In fact, if what's the number you see repeated over and over again? Throw it in the comment section. But back to Scorpio Riser. Why it's good for you in 2023. Because 2023 comes out to the number seven, the universal number seven. And in astrology, seven is ruled by the planet K2. K2. Now, this is in Vedic astrology, K2. Now, in uh, tropical astrology, it would be Neptune. So let's take a look first at K2. Why does that matter? Or the south node, why does the south node slash K2, why is that number seven good for Scorpio Riser? Because K2 is our co-ruler of our chart, meaning what the rising sign has a chart ruler, and that is the most important planet in your natal chart. So for Scorpio Risers, the most important planet is Mars. Then we have a co-ruler in Tropical, which is Pluto. And then we have a third co-ruler, which is in charge of this video today, K2, the South Node. So K2, the South Node, is in charge of the universal year. That means our chart ruler is in charge. He is the one leading in this, uh, the emphasis this year. Now, K2 is the part of our chart for Scorpio Risers where it's spirituality, where it's intuition. That's why the number seven correlates to the South Node for us because the South Node slash K2, they're the same thing. South Node is all about your intuition. It's all about your spirituality. K2 is a spiritual, intuitive planet. The number seven is the number of listening to your intuition. It's the number of listening to your intuition to hear what spirit is speaking to you, what spirit would want you to do with your life. Seven, in some ways, can feel like a retrograde. Ah, because, and some of you might have a retrograde uh, for all of 2023, not Scorpio Risers, though. Why retrograde? Because seven is about that R-E word, re reimagining, renewing, reevaluating. A lot of times when the universe goes or the earth goes into a seven vibration, it's slowing down so everyone can reimagine where they want to go in the future. I can only imagine. So a lot of us need to take time to refocus where we want to go with our life, reevaluate our priorities. Re, and so there's that re word, and that takes time to what? Be by the water, be by the beach, to be in nature trails. It takes time to unwind, relax, calm down, and allow spirit to speak. Even though I'm loud, spirit is a lot of times just very soft and very gentle, and it's just kind of a repetitive, soft word or two that gets repeated in your inner heart, and you can hear it in your thoughts. And so intuition, a lot of times, will be syncrasies, little coincidences that keep popping up to remind you of that thought or that idea that's been surfacing in your subconscious mind. So why this excites me for Scorpio Risers is because this is a year for us to be able to focus on ourselves. Focus on what's going inside of us. So, <clears throat> excuse me. So we can manifest it 
in 2024 so we can manifest our dreams, manifest our blessings, manifest our miracles. But we're manifesting this by connecting to spirit. And some of us feel like we haven't felt God, seen God, heard from God, got us in a while. But 2023, it's like there's a channel opening, a connection opening, a divine portal opening between your heart and the universe, your heart and your higher self. And that's a wonderful thing because a lot of times we get so carried away with our inner thoughts, we're confused, but we can hear the still small voice of spirit saying, everything's going to be all right. Because when spirituality speaks, it brings peace. When spirituality speaks, Speaks, it brings wholeness. It brings just kindness and love and all these things that feed our spirit. So I'm saying 2023, Scorpio Riser, expect your spirit to be fed. Expect your inner man and your inner woman to be encouraged and enlightened and infused with higher higher messages. This is a time where you talk to your spirit guide, your angels guide, your ascended masters. Woo! You got, there's a scripture in the Bible, and you know I'm not a Bible fanatic, but I do like this one. There's a great cloud of witnesses, meaning you got a support team that you can't see. Some of you can see it because you're a Scorpio riser, so your mediumship is strong. Clairvoyance, clear audience, all the clairs, these clear knowing, clear feeling, clear seeing. I'm ready for clarity in 2023. When you know God has told you something, you can go forward, and no matter the obstacle, no matter the trial, you got an inner strength. Your confusion ain't shaking you. Your fear ain't shaking you. Your worry ain't shaking you. Your sickness ain't shaking you, because you have heard from spirit. And guess what? That kind of conviction, that kind of purpose, that kind of commitment is what makes a Scorpio riser like a phoenix rise to the top. From the ashes, we rise. We ride at dawn. Or should I say 2023? It's already started. This is the second day of 2023. And already intuition is speaking to me. Already intuition is clearly giving me signs that everything's going to be all right. And I already told you, come January 12th, Mars goes direct. That means you can take whatever spirit is speaking to you and run with it. Whatever your intuition is speaking to you and run with it. Now, let me slow down before some of you that have ADD or whatever that is and cl to click this off. You need to hear this part. Wherever K2 is in your natal chart, that is where spirit wants to speak to you this year. If K2 is in your seventh spirit, wants to speak to you about your marriage, about the possibility of marriage, about partnerships. If K2 is in your first spirit, wants to speak to you about your image in the world, your identity, your physical body, your goals and purpose. If K2 is in the second spirit, wants you to get intuitive ideas how to increase your resources and wealth. If K2 is in the third spirit, wants to speak to you about your siblings, about short trips that you should be taking, about your communication and the hobbies that you're being involved in. K2 is in the fourth spirit is trying to speak to you about your family it's trying to teach you give you insights about your upbringing about where you came from so you know where you're heading now k2's in the fifth spirit's trying to get your attention about your dating life about your romance maybe your children if you're a parent or your creative ideas Woo! intuition intuition let my inner wisdom create create these wonderful gifts that you've given me. Let me be able to use the gifts and talents that I have in the fifth house and share that with the world and listen to your intuition. You got K2 in the A? It's time to listen about your healing ability, your sexual healing, emotional healing. It's time to get your finance. Listen intuitively how you can help your friends and family in their finances and also get your stuff in order with mortgages and insurance and all these things. Maybe intuitively 
totally with the eighth. It's time to get a mortgage for your new home. We got K2 in the ninth. Woo! Seventh house with the K2 in the ninth. What thus saith the Lord? What is Spirit speaking to you? Maybe it's time to go back to college. Maybe it's time to get that PhD. Maybe it's time to write that book. Maybe it's time to teach what you've been hearing from the higher up that's ringing in your spirit. K2 in the 10. All right, let's reevaluate our career. Let's reorganize ourselves and get ready for the future. Where's my future career going? Where am I heading in my power? Intuitively, where do I need to take my power back? Intuitively, where do I need to take my authority back? K2 in the 11 says, hey, let's get a part of humanity. Let's figure out spiritually what groups you need to be a part of. What places, you know, there's a scripture back in the Bible again. You say, boy, that preacher's coming out of him now. Sagittarius in the second house. I'll tell you, you can take the boy out of the church, but you can't take the church out of the boy. And some of you are like, I don't like that religion stuff, Brother Jeremy. That's fine. Spirit ain't going to leave anyways. All right. You can call it what you want to call it. I call it joy. I call it happiness. I call it. I call it. I call it by my name because I am spirit in flesh. But it's that K2 in the 11th says, hey, let's reevaluate your friendships. Do you need to upgrade your friends? Do you need to upgrade the people you're hanging around? Because who you hang around is what you become. Woo! The five closest friends you have will determine your level of success, your level of growth, your level of happiness. So choose wisely, my friend. K2 in the 12th, it's happy here. It's happy here. This may be like, you may just be sleeping and sleeping and sleeping, but download dreams are coming. The angels are speaking in your dreams. The fairies are talking in your dreams. Hey, you're good looking. What you got cooking? That 12th house says it's time to heal all those childhood wounds. It's time to set yourself apart. 2023 with the K2 and the 12 says you can intuitively know where to go to heal. Know where to go. You may need to go overseas this year. You may need to take a retreat this year. You may need to take even a, 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 a stay, a, a, just a, a time out. It's okay if you got K2 in the 12th in 2023 and you slow down a little bit. That's all right. That's all right you slow down with that 12th house. Because when you come out of that season, bam, you're in the first house, baby. I'm ready. I'm running with my purpose. I'm running with strength. I'm running with energize. Why? Because I've taken time to slow down and hear what spirit is speaking to my dreams, my hopes, my wishes. Who? 2023. This is a year to get spiritual. If you're not a spiritual person and you're a Scorpio and you're not spiritual, I would just challenge you to say, okay, God, okay, universe, okay, energy. I'm open to those things that I don't understand, that I may not even believe, I, and I'm unsure of. I'm open. That's all you got to be. When it comes to spirituality, it doesn't need to find it blindly. You just need to be open. Open to, to, to what? You know, open to all possibilities, right? All right, this video's getting long. 2023, uh, 2023, where is your K2? The number seven is a very important number this year. Oh, and I didn't even talk about Neptune, right? So wherever you got Neptune in your natal chart, that's also an area that you need to focus on. Wherever Neptune is uh, 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 aspecting what planets, those planets are going to be highlighted this year. So uh, some of you are like, Jer, you're getting a little more real spiritual here. Well, of course I am. You know why? Neptune in my first house. And Neptune along with K2 is being activated. So my first house, my image, my image, my purpose, my being is being filled with Neptune. Which, yes, Neptune's creativity. Yes, Neptune is artistic stuff. And yet, on my bottom core, Neptune is spirituality. So I speak to you, my friend that 2023 is going to empower you in a deeper, wholesome, greater, powerful way. Namaste.